Hi friends! So today I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with CBD oil and why I am no longer taking it. So I started taking it around September 5th of 2018 and it is now January 2019 and I am completely done taking it. And I, I, I really want to start this off by saying I do think that it did help my anxiety a lot, especially that first day that I took it, I felt a big difference. Um, but there were a few problems that I had with it. So first of all, it can be expensive. All right, let's 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 just throw that out there because uh, for some, like most medications go through your doctor and you can have insurance and have it covered and everything and as far as i know right now there i don't have a way of getting cbd like prescribed to me and i don't have any sort of medical marijuana card or anything like that so right now it's completely out of pocket so that is definitely the first thing to keep in mind um i was taking the 500 milligram i think it's called a team tincture or I don't really know how to say it but like the one that you drop in your mouth um I got the three pack and that was like $90 which isn't terrible like if you compare it to other things um that's something that can be like put into your budget and stuff but it is a little bit expensive for something that's not like a pill or something that can like really but that's like meant to help your anxiety and stuff. Something that's like prescribed to you, something that can be covered by insurance. It's, it's not, I would say it's not completely, completely helpful. I don't, I don't know how to say that it, in any other way. It's not completely helpful. Like you're probably better off with a pill of some sort, like talking with a therapist or, you know, psychologist, I guess, whoever prescribes this stuff. Um, Talking to a doctor and getting the right medication for you would probably help you a lot more. Um, so yeah, it's expensive. And then um, the other problem that I had with it is it only lasted about five hours for me. So I had to kind of plan my day around that, like, cause you get 10 hours. And so sometimes I wouldn't take it right when I wake up in the morning because I wanted it to be, like if I had to go to the store, or go out, or do something, I would want to take it like right before I went. Um, it also took a little bit of time to kick in. For me, it took like half an hour to like 40 minutes before I would start seeing the results of it. Um, so those are things to keep in mind. Um, and you kind of, and you do have to, well, I had to take it twice a day to make sure that I could like feel calm. Um, it, it did benefit me though. I did feel like after I took it, after it kicked in and everything, I felt like I could think rationally and feel like a regular person and just be calm. I felt like it helped keep me from being depressed. I, I did feel benefits from it, but it, it didn't feel like a complete solution. Like I haven't found a right medication either. Like I've taken anxiety pills and depression pills and they've made me feel a lot worse. So it was definitely better than a lot of those alternatives and it's like natural and stuff, but I don't know, it, it only lasted five hours. And like these were things, these like the cost and it only lasting five hours, like I could deal with, I was gonna pay for it and I was gonna keep using it. Um, but the biggest problem that I had with it and the reason that I stopped taking it entirely is because that month of September, I missed my period and previously for several months I had been taking birth control in the form of the pill um, that regulated my periods and helped me a lot. Um, I was being treated for ab abdominal pain with my birth control so it wasn't like I didn't need the pill, it was something that like medically helped me and I like medically couldn't really be without, without being in a lot of pain. Um, so I, I was on that pill, it helped take away my pain and help regulate my cycle, everything felt a lot better, and then suddenly that month of September, uh, I missed my period and I started feeling incredibly nauseous and weak and tired and like dizzy, like I just felt terrible and I was so emotional on top of feeling that way, like 
I could just like sit in a corner and cry and I did I had plenty of days where I would just sit in the corner and cry because I was so emotional and it was weird because I was taking the CBD oil and like I felt like that was helping my anxiety but I could also like feel like I was super hormonal or something like like that feeling you get like a week before your period or some ladies get it like the week of their period where you're just like oh I want to eat everything and cry and watch sad movies I had that kind of feeling going on it felt much different than any sort of like bipolar feelings or anxiety it it really felt like it was based on my hormones and um so I was <laughs> I was taking CBD and birth control and I missed my period I was sick and tired and then uh the next month came around and i started taking pregnancy tests they were all negative the next month came around where i was expecting my period and i thought maybe it was just a fluke maybe last month i didn't get it and i was a couple weeks late and then suddenly i was in terrible terrible pain and i was like I mean, I was bleeding, but it didn't feel quite like a period. And I ended up Googling things about try, like, trying to learn what a miscarriage was and what it looked like and what it felt like. And based off of what I read, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what's happening to me. I I'm having a miscarriage. And so I spent the weekend in bed and after a few days, like I felt better, but realistically I should have gone to like a hospital or something that way I could like know what happened to me but I was just like oh my gosh this must be my period or something like I had no idea what was going on I just felt miserable and I did feel miserable like those two months the beginning of September when I first started taking CBD I did feel pretty okay I did feel like it was helping me and everything was great and I was so excited about it. It wasn't until I missed my period and um or like just before I think just before my period my expected period I was feeling like nauseous and like just generally bad and it just kept getting worse and so all of the next month I felt terrible and for like four months there I was just miserable. I was I was hating my life. I didn't want to do anything. I was sick. I was like my relationships with friends and family were suffering and I took a lot of time off of streaming which is like my work and I don't know it was just a really bad time and I have nothing from doctors that say like this is what happened but it it seemed like I started taking the CBD and then suddenly I was having problems with my birth control and afterwards I googled it and it was saying like I found lots of like medical studies and stuff about it that said that it can affect, it can negatively affect your birth control if you take CBD because it's just like if you're on an antibiotic or something, like you go to the pharmacist and they say, hey, use a backup birth control method because this can interfere with your birth control. It's the same kind of thing, but I didn't have a pharmacist or anybody to tell me that because I had just bought it off of the internet and I thought, oh, this is all really great. And that was my only form of protection, which, you know, that's my bad. But I think that when I started taking it, it might have lessened the effects of my birth control. I feel like I got pregnant and then had a miscarriage. And I'm not trying to, like, blame this all on CBD and say that it's, like, terrible and don't take it or anything like that. I just wanted to share my experience because it was so bad and I hope that this can help somebody and if you are taking birth control and you're considering using CBD to like be extra careful and stuff, I feel like if I was using, you know, condoms or, you know, some sort of backup method outside of my pill, none of this might have happened. Um, but I just, I wish I had known in the first place, like after finding these things online that said that CBD oil can affect your birth control, like interfere with it, I just like, I felt so sick and I was like, oh my gosh, like I feel so stupid, like I've done this to myself, I've made myself sick, um, but yeah, just be careful. Uh, I think CBD can have a little bit, like it can, I feel like CBD can be helpful, uh, just be careful and have a different form of 
yeah, don't be taking it with birth control because I feel like my hormones were off the charts and I was just sick and miserable. So anyway, I hope this helps and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, bye!